Hey guys, it's Cynthia, back with another Plan With Me video. If you are new to my channel, I wanna say welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you'll hit that red subscribe button and the bell so you get notified about my videos for the future. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be planning for the week of January 24th through the 30th. This is my wellness planner. I think this is the first time I've done a wellness spread um, that I'm posting on my YouTube channel. Not even gonna lie, I have filmed some plan with me's in my wellness, but I just never posted them. But this will be the first one that I'm hopefully going to post. So I'm a little bit nervous because um, I don't know what it is about turning the camera on and planning with the camera on that just makes me nervous. But let's get into the plan. I am gonna be using um, this kit from Jameson Reed Designs. It's called Winter Blues. So I have her deco sheet and the full boxes that go along with it as well as some of the quarter boxes. And then I pulled these two Happy Planner sticker books, the Mini Mom sticker book, which has a kind of a fitness section back here with like steps and um, scales. So I'm gonna use this Lone Blue scale down here when I do my weight, um, my weight check-in uh, at the beginning of the week. And then I pulled the colorful boxes just in case I want some more, um, some bigger boxes to put on the spread. So the way I normally do my wellness planner, I do like decoration at the top, decoration at the bottom, and all of my other things in the center. So my meal log usually goes here and my fitness stats, um, like my steps, my mileage, my calories, all that stuff go in the movement section. But I think I wanna switch it up this week. So not only am I making myself nervous by doing this on camera, but I'm also changing the layout that I typically do with my wellness um, spread. So. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna come in, I also pulled this glitter washi. Um, I'm gonna use this to cover up these prompts down here. Um, I typically don't journal every day of the week. I might journal like one or two days, but um, I wanna see how the decoration looks on here and see if I'm gonna leave myself space to do some journaling this week. So let's cover these prompts up. How do I wanna do this? Still haven't gotten that um, X-Acto knife that I keep saying I need to buy myself, which would make cutting this washi a whole lot easier. Okay, and then I'm gonna come do the same thing on this side. And so far I'm really enjoying working in this um, wellness layout. It's slightly different than the fitness layout. Um, still similar, but just slightly different. You know, it gives you more room down here to do the journaling, even though I don't journal um, every single day. Okay, now that I got those down, let's look at these full boxes. And I wanna put them, like I said, right here, I wanna put the the decoration here in the center and then my fitness stats and my meal log. So I like the quote and I think I'm gonna pair this underneath of it. I probably should have some wax paper I just grabbed a scrap piece of wax paper. Maybe like that. And then she does have these like florals on this deco page and they look like they're um, like corners like they can go on the corners of boxes Okay, 
and then I wanted to put it down just a little bit so I don't take up too much room in this box and let's see I like this little deer Branches. They're like snowy branches, and they do have a bird on here, too. I don't even know if this will fit. Yeah, it kind of covers up part of the quote. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know, I might have to not use this. I'll just put the bird up here. That still works. Okay. And let's, I wanted to also use this kind of log cabin. Thought that was cute. and the scale of the girl is like way too big next to it. But they do have these trees here, so I wonder if I can just layer some more with it. Kind of like that. We're really just winging it here. Okay. And maybe I can put these logs next to it. Maybe behind the tree. And it's okay if it runs off the back of the page. I'll just clip the side of it off. Can't believe we're almost at February. Feels like this month is going by so fast. Okay, I like that. So let's see what else we can add. Um, where I'm gonna put this scale. Now I typically do my weigh in on Monday, but it doesn't, I don't necessarily need the scale to go on Monday. I just need it somewhere on the page. I'm looking at it now and I'm like, I don't know that I like the blue with these other blues. So I may just have to use um, one of the boxes that came with the set, like one of these. the snowflakes and maybe I can just cut it um, so it doesn't go off the page. It'll just cut like right where this line is. Maybe 
right there. And then because it has the snowflakes on there, maybe I can take some of these snowflakes from off of the page um, and add them in there. And then just to tie it in, I can put some more on the other side of the page too. So this is gonna be for my weekly weigh-in. Maybe I'll put a box right here. That way, if I do wanna do some journaling this week, I still give myself some space to do that. So maybe a silver box. like yelling at the camera no go with the bigger box I don't know I don't typically have a whole whole lot to write um, each week so this will give me just enough to write something and then I'm gonna white out the line underneath of it so it doesn't show through how it looks I'm liking it um, maybe as a space filler I can put another um, snowflake down there and let's see what else we have we do have these kind of like I guess they're like acorns maybe I can't tell if they're flowers or they're supposed to be like pine cones or something some of those in. Okay. And then I guess kind of to tie off with that flower down there, I can use this one down here in this corner. Like I said, I'm using this area for my meal log and honestly this area is bigger than this one was up here. So I know if I can write my meals in this area, I can write down here and still have some extra space. So maybe wrap this kind of around this corner. And just get some more decoration towards the bottom of the page. Actually, now I'm thinking, do I want some washi down here too. We do. I can always keep forgetting about this strip that's on here. I think I do. And I think what I'm gonna do is cut it in half. That way I can have enough for the whole bottom. So before I cut this, let me take this off if I can. I'm gonna get my paper trimmer and try to cut this in half. So I'm gonna put one strip across the bottom and I think I'm gonna put it all the way across the bottom like even into the sidebar. strip that's hopefully the same size. 
which it's not. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna make this work. That's what we got going. Oops, I think I hit the camera a couple times. Sorry, guys. So I'm gonna flip this over. You guys are getting a sneak peek of last week. If you want to see the full spread of last week, head over to my Instagram, and you can see that one. So let's cut this. And cut these. See if I can put those flowers back on. Down in this corner. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. Okay. One of the last things that I want to put on here, decoration-wise, um, I do want to get one of the girls on the page. And I know she's not like in a fitness outfit, but it's a planner, right? We can we can make it how we want it to be. So I don't know if I want to do the big girl or the smaller girl. Let me see how the bigger girl looks first. I just want to make sure that I still have room to put my habit trackers on there. Yeah, I think I'll have plenty of room. So I'm going to put her here in the sidebar. And we don't have much left on this page. Maybe like the ice skates. I just, I try to use up as many items on these pages as possible. Let's see. Maybe a box to cover that up. I don't even know what I would put in there. Maybe just like the header for my habit trackers. Um, got the flowers there I probably will just use the other snowflake one and just kind of do the same thing and run it off the page so let me white out ice skates. And then that'll still give me room right here to put at least one habit tracker. Now I track usually between one to three habits um, in my wellness planner. Typically It'll be like my vitamins, um, my water intake, and maybe if I close my um, rings on my Fitbit. And then last week, um, I've only been focusing on one habit, which was my sleep, because um, my sleep patterns have been absolutely horrendous recently. So I think I'm probably actually gonna track that same habit this week, just that one, which is my um, my sleep, like getting to bed by a certain time, which I know it's kind of early. I'm a little bit old, you guys, um, but 10 p.m. is going to be my bedtime um, next week just to help me with my sleep pattern. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna focus on that. And it's okay that I'm not tracking the other ones because in my catch-all planner on my currently page, I have a list of habits that I track every day and water and vitamins are already on that one. I kind of like double, um, double track those when I put those habit trackers in my wellness. So it's okay that they're not on this spread. Um, I can incorporate those in my catch-all. So I think what I'm gonna do is find a Tombow to kind of draw in the, um, well, actually I don't really need to because I have the header up there. No, I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna draw in the header that says that it's for sleep and then this one will just say habit tracker. So let me go find my Tombows real quick and my color tracker. Okay, so I went and grabbed my um, Tombow Dual Brush Pen Color Tracker, and I grabbed these two colors, um, 553 and 533. That's these two right here. They look very similar. I don't know if you guys can see that. They look very similar in nature. Um, I think the 553 is slightly lighter. I think that's the one I'm gonna end up using to go with this spread. It's you know darker than these, but of course there's different touches of blue like throughout the flowers and everything. But I think it's the closest thing that I have where I can write over top of it and still read it. So not even gonna measure anything. I just wanna make sure there's still seven spaces to mark Monday through Sunday. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, they give you exactly um, seven dot grid spaces across this area right here. So I think I'm gonna come down just a bit and just kind of draw in right here a line where I can write in what the habit is that I'm going to track for the week. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to add. I know last week I did put some kind of like bullet points on here for um, like these diamonds here to track my calories. Do I wanna add those in or do I wanna just write them in? I'm gonna leave it off for now. If I decide I wanna add them in, I can do it during the week. Um, but I think, I think that's gonna be my spread for the week. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't, like I said, it's very um, plain before the pen, before I start writing on it, but after I fill it in, it gets full pretty quickly. So that is gonna be my wellness spread for this week. If you like this video, you like this spread, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel when you um, guys give a thumbs up. So I really appreciate everybody who's been giving the thumbs up. Um, if you wanna see more of my videos, hit that red subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.